In this video, we're going to compare dry van trailers to reefer trailers. For us to compare the two, we kind of need to know what each of them are. So what is a dry van trailer? A dry van trailer is simply an enclosed box style trailer. They're 48 to 53 feet. They haul all sorts of different commodities, retail goods, palletized product, could be hauling furniture, and the max load is going to be right around 44,000 pounds. A dry van trailer is a industry standard for hauling dry, non-perishable goods. What are dry van trailers not suited to haul? Typically a dry van trailer is not suited to haul, say, over-dimensional freight where it would have overhang or even overhang off the rear of the trailer, or goods that would be perishable that would need to stay temperature controlled because they could be spoiled or go bad. How does using a dry van trailer affect shipping costs? Dry van freight is going to be one of the more cost effective modes of transportation for your shipments, especially when you compare this to some of the open deck methods with tarps and, and chains, as well as comparing to uh, refrigerated freight, which is going to be significantly more expensive. The cost of dry van shipping is going to be affected by where it's picking up at, where it's delivering to, what you're hauling, and what the weight of the load is. To get an exact price on dry van shipping, a good idea would be to reach out to some of your transportation partners to get an idea of what your shipment could cost. All right, so let's talk about reefer trailers now. A reefer trailer is a temperature controlled trailer similar to a dry van in size and what it can haul, but it will keep your freight at a set temperature from the point A to point B on delivery. So on a reefer trailer, you're still gonna see 48 and 53 foot trailers but the dimensions are a little bit smaller due to the insulation on the inside walls and the door, so you aren't gonna be able to haul as much freight as you would with a dry van. In a pinch, when capacity gets tight, you can run a reefer trailer, turn the reefer unit off, run it dry, and then it's very comparable to running dry freight. And a lot of times drivers will do this when they're not in peak season to just keep things moving down the road. What is a reefer used to ship? Some of the most common items that we see shipped on reefer trailers would be perishable foods such as produce, food and beverage that can't freeze or needs to be temperature controlled, and pharmaceuticals. Outside of the things that I just mentioned, reefers can also haul hazardous materials that need to be temperature controlled. What is a reefer not used to ship? Like we just said, when you turn off the reefer unit on the trailer, you can haul just about anything that you can in a dry van. The only things you really wouldn't be able to haul would be something that would be overdimensional or be too heavy that literally just would not fit in the trailer. Typically using a reefer trailer is going to be more expensive than shipping on a dry van due to the driver needing extra fuel to keep that reefer unit running during transportation but also there's added maintenance to keep things running smoothly. With temperature control freight there is a little bit more liability that goes into it because if that reefer unit stops cooling your freight or holding it at a temperature control, the driver is going to need to get to a warehouse that's temperature controlled ASAP and get that freight offloaded. So which equipment type is best for your shipment? The typical weight range for a dry van trailer is between 42,000 and 45,000 pounds. Along with that, reefer trailers are going to haul a little bit less weight than a dry van trailer and they will have a lower height capacity on the trailer. Generally, a reefer trailer is going to be a little bit more versatile than a dry van because they can haul both dry goods and perishable goods at a temperature controlled setting. If you're going to be hauling non-perishable items, your best bet is to run that freight on a dry van. Like we said earlier, if you find yourself in a pinch and capacity is tight, you can find a reefer trailer, have the driver turned off and run it dry, and keep moving your freight. In the end, the trailer that you choose completely depends on your shipping needs. What dimensions do I need? Do I need temperature controlled functionality? And the last factor is, how much am I willing to spend? Your answer to these questions should give you a crystal clear answer to what is the best trailer type for your business. Beyond simply which trailer you use, when it comes to successfully moving your freight, there's certainly a lot to consider. What type of transportation provider should you use? How many is enough? And what key performance metrics should you test each of these providers on to make sure you're getting the absolute best from your network? Here at ATS, we're looking to simplify this process by giving you answers to all of your questions, worries, fears, and concerns by producing educational content to our learning hub multiple times a week. Give it a browse today by clicking on the link in the description. I'm sure there's enough content there to keep you occupied until our next video goes live, which you can be notified on by subscribing to our channel and clicking that bell. We'll see you next time.